How are you guys doing? This is Phoenix Wolf. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I am as well. All right, so let's get this started. First off, what game is before you? Well, for those of you guys who have been playing a lot of Xbox lately, uh, one game has come to surface. It's called War of Tanks. A lot of fun. I would recommend this to anybody who um, wants a good game to play online. And I've been doing really good. I've been going like 7 and... 7 and 0 and whatnot, and it's awesome, I love it a lot, and I, like I said, I'd suggest you get it, the maps are pretty easy once you get to know them, you can really get going on them, and once you get really good with some of these maps, like this one is one of my favorite, <laughs> And this is the one I just went 7 and... Oh, crud on. I am a uh, tank destroyer, one of the British tank destroyers, the first one. Because I honestly, I enjoy the British tanks a lot more than the uh, American ones. Because the medium tanks, and, because they've got the two, they've got the two uh, lineups that I like and I enjoy to play with. Those two are the medium tanks and the uh, tank destroyer classes. And the one bad part about this tank that I'm at, it's got great uh, firepower, but it really lacks in the armor department. <laughs> so kind of you got to take a little bit of a step back and do more of a strategic game on this one and just wait it out, so, so to say, so to speak. Because you can't go with this one. See? Like, right there. You can't go guns blazing or else that will happen. Uh, one cool part, though, about this is you can actually go back to the garage and grab a different tank. So that while this one is fuming in the fields and waiting until that match gets over, you can actually jump into the next ga uh, game. Which I will do, actually, right now. So, where have I been? Well, lately I've been working on the Twitch. Uh, on a Twitch account. And it's going so far okay-ish. Lately I've just been trying to get it up and running. And I'm planning on maybe, just maybe one one of these days actually uh, doing a live stream. If I do, I'll give like a day or two of announcements beforehand. Before I actually do the live stream. Live streaming is something I've never done before, so it ought to be funny. What I'll probably do is I'll probably uh, do a Minecraft thing or something. This is, uh, ew. yeah, I love to call this one uh, Death's Valley in a way, because there's a giant gaping, if this is the one I'm thinking of, there's a giant hole in the middle of this map. Well, not hole, but like, oh no, this is not the one. This one, there's only really two ways you can go, the left or the right. I like going down through the uh, right path because that's where a lot of the action starts going, and especially with like this medium tank. This medium tank has a little bit more armor than what a light tank, such as, I think, no, that one's a tank destroyer, jeez. Uh, but it has a little bit more l armor than what a, light what a light tank would have, but at the same time, it's, does it's not under-armored. I mean, it's not over-armored, like a heavy tank. Uh, I'm still getting used to this one, because I just unlocked this. It's a tier 3. Wow, where on earth are they? See, I'm not really good on that one. That tank, I'm, like I said, I'm still getting used to. It takes me like a, a couple matches to usually get used to a tank. And I really, like I said, I really like the tank destroyers because uh, my I honestly love staying in towards the back of the field and just being able to th lob the shells over. And the artillery tank destroyers... Oh, wow, that one's still out. Okay, I guess we're going to go uh, use this one. As you can see, I like using... As you can see, I've been using a lot of the British tank styles. They are honestly some of the better ones. 
See, on this one, I kind of don't like this map because you have a really, a really great spawn for the enemy down towards like G5. See, this is one thing I don't like though is how many people are on here who leave their mics open. And a lot of the people, especially on Xbox Live, have connect mics. So you hear all this back feed and other stuff, and it just really annoys me. You guys can't hear it probably due to all of the uh, editing that I do. But for me, I can hear it quite clearly. And it gets annoying. See, now, one of the areas you can go to is, is the beachhead down there. Another path is this straightaway. And then you can also loop around with the far side. I'd rather just go straight in with the middle. I've tried going that uh, C side, so the right side over there. But every time I go in there, it just really does not do me too much good. I actually die a lot more than I do uh, any other round going towards that side. So you see, he just flees right in there. That was a light tank. Probably a tier 1 light. And now, here comes... I'm in a uh, tier... This is a tier 1 medium tank. So you get to start out with this... With this one. But not with the upgrades that this has. And we pick up a kill. Now, as you can see, there's two people that are following closely behind us and that kind of frustrates me when the when our teammates allow them to get behind us because then we get sandwiched and when we get sandwiched is when some of the uh, worst parts of this game come out because then you get all the frustration of being scrunched together and it just really is not that much fun. Oh crud, he took out the ball turret. He took out our turret. That is not a good... Oh, yeah, as you can see now... And I'm down. See, that's why I don't like being on that side of the train is because there's too many open paths, whereas on the other side of the terrain, if you get put it by like G5 area, you got a lot of pathways, but they don't lead you into one cemented place. Whereas if you spawn on that side of the riverbank, you're pretty much screwed. So let's hop back in with a different tank. But this is what I've been doing lately... <laughs> but this is what I like to do uh, with this one. Ooh. Uh, let's see, how do I want to? Yeah, this is the map I was talking about before that has the giant open kill zone. So first off, you have the nice path to the right, the other pathway to the left. And then the giant kill zone in the middle. Where everybody loves to rush in. See, he's going to try to, but probably... Yeah, he's going to get away with it. Which means now we've got one tank residing back in our zone. And I've been detected. Crud. But... There's one shot on him, two shots, three shots, four shots, and he's down. See, that is what you want to see because it's like immediately he gets spotted and he's taken out. Uh, this guy, he's going to probably just, he's stit. This is one thing a lot of people like to do is they just like to stit, sit still while they're being shot at and I do it myself so it's something that I've got to even correct that I do Ooh, okay so they've got more they've got artillery 
which is raining down. If you look up on the top, uh, the the squares are artillery units. The downward triangles are uh, are tank destroyers, which w- is what I am. Then the diamonds are without a slash in them. Are the regular light infant light troy tanks. Then the ones that have the one slash through them are the medium tanks. If you see them with two slashes, then they're the heavy tanks. Um, to zoom in, it's left trigger, and then just move around with thumbsticks, kind of like normal style. But as you can see now, we're all scrunched up towards the back. He's badly damaged. So which means, oh boy, do we? That is a problem. As you can see, I'm still getting used to the controls because it's a little weird. I'm not used to controlling tanks in video games. The video game st- selection I usually am is just straight infantry. As you, if you've ever watched my Battlefield 4 uh, gameplay footage, I'm usually just a straight standard infantry. I don't like jumping into vehicles and pi- and using them by myself. I'd rather have somebody else drive me around, just because I'm not the best with them. See, and there's another problem, is he sits right in there. So, you gotta just... You can also can call them out on here. And you can give, like, special designation target zones that you're wanting, that you're wanting to give your teammates a heads up at. So, say, since we know that we got two down there, I'm going to then tell my people to, uh, uh, attack that area. Most of the time they won't do it, they'll probably just respond back with negative, meaning that they won't go off and do it, which is a good thing because, it's like, sometimes you get people who tell you, oh yeah, just go charge out into the middle of the field, and that's a very bad decision to do. Seeing as how you've got no, you're exposed wide open, and like I said, you're exposed. So that, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. nice. Sure, we're not picking up uh, many kills, but we're doing a lot of damage to the tanks, which is honestly all that I'm trying to do, especially with tank destroyers. I'm just trying to penetrate the armor and cause as much damage to them as I can so that the people who are the light tanks can just go and zoom around them and just quickly take them out uh, with this tank though unfortunately as I said before he has no armor so right now I'm just a sitting duck waiting to see if anybody else is going to poke their heads out because we got both people that are on the we're, we're by down by the riverbank see nobody there hmm So we got two smoldering piles down there. So I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, both people that were down here were destroyed. And I'm not seeing any more out of my out of the right side. He's down. He's trying to lead forth a huge uh, team to go try and attack him. But what I'm trying to tell the light infantry people over there, the lighter tanks, is go in and try to watch out for that area. And there goes another one. So they've got a tank destroyer and an artillery unit. Oh, great. This is not going to be a good one. The artillery units are only good at far range battles, but if you can actually get up close with one, you'll win the battle. Not all the time, but nine per- ninety percent of the time you'll win that battle. Uh, with tank destroyers, just stay out of their way. And as you can see, the tank destroyer is actually down by our area. 
And he's going to attack Psych, which is the... Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to push forward here, though. Because there's two ways you can win. You can win the round by either uh, killing off all their people or by taking their base. And the more people... It works the same way as in many games. The more people you have in the middle, the more points you earn. It's like three... F it's one per each, I believe, or two per each. I don't know. I don't know how the, they've got their system work, but there you go. And you can just keep on going forth and doing as you wish. So this is World of Tanks. Let me go... Nice. Let me know what you guys think down in the uh, comments section. If you'd like to see more, just tell me and I'll make plenty of videos on this. I love making these because, as you guys can see, it's one of my it's one of the relaxing games I can just chill at. I think I'll hit up one more game and we'll do this uh, guy again. But, let's get an upgrade. Sweet! We just got another tank, guys. So now this is a new tank destroyer. Oh, man. So what's the difference? So he's got armor. Better health is better. Better attack. Better armor. Speed goes down, but sight goes up. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh. See, those are the snipers. Uh, they're, they've got the longer barrels on them, and I believe the longer barrels are also the artillery, so I think the artillery is for the snipers. I don't know how that one works out. I, like I said, I started playing this game today, and I've been hooked on it. <gasps> Ooh, yes, I started on the good side. I love starting on this side because I can sit right here, and I can see half of the map. Which is great vantage point because what they'll love to do is come in this crevice there and then also form up right along this ridge line here. So by standing right here, I'm able to lob shells at them if they're over there. But also able to go forward a little if necessary. Okay, so we have one guy who's descending the mountain. And he's going to get destroyed because he's got two tank destroyers on him. Oh, dang. Okay. I guess I got destroyed. <laughs> okay, guys. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Phoenix Wolf signing out.